Hello family! So you want to know what the farmer's market is like here in Pattaya, Thailand? Well, we've been living here for over six months and we're about to show you. We are at Rompo Market, which is located just 10 minute walk from our condo. And as you know, Thailand is notorious for their street food and you can find street food anywhere and everywhere. So in front of this market, there is a large parking lot filled with different vendors cooking all kinds of things. Grilled chicken, rotisserie chicken, deep fried chicken, grilled fish, different kinds of soups and Thai delights. But the thing is this market for the food at least is only open early in the morning at 7 a.m. The vendors are set up with their soups and noodles and grilled chicken and their people are purchasing food for breakfast here and in the evening you can get some uh, really good eats here starting at 5 p.m. so now let's go inside the market and get some fresh produce there are only a few rows of vendors but they do carry a large variety of fruits vegetables and even meats Keep in mind there is cash only to purchase anything here. Most of the things go by kilos or some smaller items by 100 grams. Just like anywhere in the world, all fruits and vegetables are seasonal and the prices vary depending if the fruit is just coming into season or coming out of the season. But we will get into prices a little bit later. Anywhere we travel, we make friends and Thailand is not an exception. And now we want to introduce you to our friend here at the market. This is our friend Bamboo and she has a pretty big stall here at the market, actually cut into uh, into sides and we've been coming here to get fruits and vegetables from her and she is super friendly and she speaks English and um, her family works here who from your family works here? Uh, it's my daughter and my sister A daughter and sister and how long have you um, had this stall for uh, this this stall about four years four years yes Wow, Bamboo works really hard because this market opens at what time? Early uh, morning? We open at o'clock to 9 p.m. From 8 till 9 she's working. Yeah. And so let's um, get into some of the fruits here. What kind of fruit is this? Sapadillo, right? Sapadillo, yes. Yes, sapadillo. And is it sweet or...? Oh, uh, this one sweet, very sweet. Very sweet. And this costs... 50 baht, right? Yes. Okay. And so, this one, papaya. Papaya. And what kind of fruit is this? Uh, rose apple. Rose apple? Yes. And uh, what, uh, how does it taste? Uh, tastes like uh, apple. Tastes like apple, so yes. crunchy, juicy. Is it sweet or not so sweet? Uh, sweet. Very good. It's very good. And what kind of fruit is this? <laughs> Grapefruit there, right? Yes, very. Oh, uh, I tried this before and this was very sour. Uh, this one sweet, uh, this one uh, uh, tastes like a uh, tomato. Tomato? Yeah! <laughs> I don't like this one. You don't like this one? Yes, I don't like. Okay, well this pack But a lot, a lot, a lot customer like this one. A lot of customers? I don't like. Okay, so some fruits are cut and packaged like this and some fruits you can buy uh, by kilo. Oh, <laughs> you can taste you. this one. Okay. All right, so no, you can eat all. Okay. So inside, it oh, does kind of look like tomato. Okay, let's see. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Super sour. <laughs> <laughs> this is a rambutan. It um, sort of tastes like lychee, but it has just a little uh, slightly firmer, I think, texture. Yes. And this is 50 baht per package. But you also yes. sell it by kilo, right? Yes. Also, we sell by kilo. And it's a kilo? Uh, uh, today 100 baht per kilo. 100 baht per kilo? Is yes. Wow, what is this monster? Sala. Salad. And this is the same fruit but packaged. Yeah. So in the cluster, it has a lot of spikes. And how it tastes? 
uh, a little bit sour. A little bit sour and this is what it looks like cleaned. That's what inside. And the texture is a little bit almost like a raw macadamia nut. is a little firm. And uh, the price again differ. The clean one in the package like this is 35 baht, but clean one uh, completely is 45 baht. Wow, what is this beauty? Uh, apricots. This is apricot. Is it from Thailand? Yes, wow. from Thailand. Thai apricot. And how much is this? 100 baht each kilo. 100 baht per kilo. So uh, a little. Uh, a little over two pounds is under three dollars but you can also buy package like this for 70 baht i actually tried it it does not taste like your regular apricot it has a big seed inside but it's very sweet the skin outside is a little firm but the inside is really um, nice and sweet and it kind of reminds me of persimmons do you know what this fruit is? This is actually one of my favorite fruits since I came to Southeast Asia and this is called mango tea. And how much is mango tea? Uh, it's 80 baht per kilo. 80 baht per kilo, but it, they depend on a season. Sometimes you can get it as low as probably 30 baht per kilo. When yes, in high 25 season. baht per kilo. Yeah, but this so, one uh, is not season. Not, not in season. And can you guess what fruit this is? This is Lilikoi. If you've been following us from Hawaii or Maracuya or passion fruit. Yes. <laughs> How but, much is this? Uh, 70 baht per kilo. 70 baht per kilo. And do you have anything open? They have a cutting station right here, so they were kind enough to open it for me so I can show you what it looks like. And it is very juicy on the inside, mostly seeds. A little it's bit sour. A little sour. Mm. <laughs> She's the best. I, I, just, I just went from the garden, I picked some pineapple. You this picked one. the pineapple yourself? Yes, and also we picked some watermelon a lot here. Yeah. So, yeah. Bamboo not only sells, but yeah. she goes to the And we have a big garden. <laughs> no. She picked more watermelon and pineapple herself. In Thailand, there are so many different kinds of mangoes. And they also have mangoes from Cambodia, but our favorite is Thai mangoes. And the prices vary. They start from 70 baht per kilo, 50, 50, 45, and they even have some 35 baht per kilo. But they, believe it or not, they all have different textures and different flavors. Our favorite is Thai mango. It has the least fibers and it's just so delicious. This is vegetable section of bamboo stall and she has different varieties of fresh herbs and vegetables. So this is uh, mint, fresh mint, how much is it? 10 baht bun. 10 baht per bunch. We have fresh parsley, look how vibrant this is. And how much is it? 25 baht. 25 baht, beautiful. <laughs> and what I love about um, Thai markets is that they bunch together everything all the herbs that you need for soups what what kind of soups this is tom yum tom yum this is tom yum soup everything you need for 10 baht. <laughs> so here we have some is it basil yes mm, how much is it 10 baht man for one celery i'm getting some celery too sure eh? 120 per kilo 120 per kilo so see some uh, vegetables that go by packages yes. and some per kilo yeah awesome and uh, this is do you know what this is papaya salad green papaya for papaya my favorite who likes papaya salad i love papaya salad me too yeah so we have some fresh cabbage here and uh, on the other side is uh, our favorite shiitake mushrooms how much do they go uh 25 baht for 100 grams so see as i told you earlier some go for 100 grams some per kilo so you can just get a basket put as much as you need they weigh it and they'll tell you the price and one thing 
keep in mind what we notice they're very honest here they're not trying to because you're a tourist they're not trying to bring the price up or anything like that they tell you the price as it is and here is a very unique thing right here look how beautiful this is and no these are not grapes what is it pepper, pepper. this is pepper corn and you use the entire thing see how it's green usually in america we get it packaged and already black right yes but here in thailand you just put the entire thing for soups right oh uh, yes yes so if you're making green curry you can use oops got it <laughs> if you're making green curry you can use the entire thing for soups speaking of more packages this is cauliflower and broccoli 25 baht one packet yeah and what is this, this uh, is okra, right? yes or this ready finger mm -hmm. okra yeah this is okra it is also 25 baht and everything looks so pristine so fresh so beautiful um what else we got here some to we have tinta yeah 30, 30 baht for a package of tomato and look how they also love in Thailand how they package it um, what uh, would you use this package for green uh, curry no this one we can eat raw you can eat raw but for, also for what kind of soup you uh, this one we don't use so soup we eat uh -huh. raw you just eat the entire thing all the things raw here yes okay. and this one can do it for cook ah this one is for green curry yes um, and this is called um, eggplant eggplant but you see it's a different kind of eggplant this is the way it grows it's green and circular it's almost like a green tomato and this is the eggplant that you use as i seen. <laughs> see the difference <laughs> it's delicious in green curry and also we have the pack right here oh uh, and how much is the pack it's 25 baht awesome and do you have and look at these eggplants yes these are all also eggplants see they have four types green purple young one then green circular and a regular big one and how much do this go for uh, 50 baht for a kilo 50 baht for a kilo wow and what do you think this is believe it or not this is also eggplant and this one is also used in green curry yes you can use in green curry and they have a really cool texture it's almost like a harder pea versions and they kind of like uh, when you bite they pop a little bit uh, and how much does this cost? Uh, 100 baht for kilo here it is but uh, you can buy 10 baht or 20 baht yeah you don't have to buy the entire yeah just to about 10 baht about yeah so we're going to start shopping and we'll tell you how much our grocery price costs together it's 252 baht all the stalls here are family owned which means they are here from morning till night and of course the way of life is they the kids come here they sleep here for naps they eat here they do their homework here so pretty much the, for the most of the day the entire family is here at the market we came to this stall because they have a wide variety of mushrooms and we love king oyster mushrooms look at this beautiful and then they have a package of different kinds of mushrooms and uh, we also love getting the oyster mushrooms this is what they look like what's really cool about um, thai markets is that they also have a lot of uh, things prepped this is shredded ginger you can also find from other vendors um, shredded fresh ginger okay so all our mushrooms variety and noodles is 125 baht my favorite part of coming to this market 
not only seeing how the local families interact, but also they have cats. And if you've been following us, you know I love cats. Not all cats here are friendly, but a lot of souls have cats underneath that you cannot even see. But these guys are leashed here and they pretty much live over here. Look at this one. This, he's so friendly on and off the sheep. Look how big and really beautiful with green eyes. He's very lazy and really big and sweet. I love cats. But this is my market cat therapy. Irina usually comes here, plays with the cat. Meanwhile, I go and I do all the shopping. <laughs> so as you know, there's fruits and vegetables here, but did you know you could also find kind of things in cans and bottles? There's like grocery stores. And in here, as you can see, you can get anything from uh, coconut milk to, to olive oil. And of course, a lot of Asian stuff like um, soy sauce and different things here, cornstarch, everything is in a bottle. They also have stuff in plastic, which you can just buy and use, which is really awesome. And of course, in this particular location, you could get a little bit of everything. There's, you know, deodorant, things to do laundry. You can pick all that stuff up, cleaning products. And here you can get eggs, but you don't get eggs in the conventional way you normally get it in the States. So basically you can buy eggs in a bag. And as you can see, it's 55 baht and you get, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. You get 10 eggs for 55 baht in a bag. It's not in a crate or you could just pick up the crate of pink eggs. Don't ask me why the egg is pink. I don't know if they color them. I don't know why it's pink. Maybe we need to get down to this. Pink eggs at the market. We just finished shopping for fresh produce and now we're heading back to our condo to have dinner. Now that you've seen all the prices for fruits and vegetables, what do you think? How it compares to where you're from? The, all the fruits and vegetables that we show you did you learn anything? Did you find anything that you've never seen before or never tried before? Leave us a comment below. If you would like to follow our journey, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click that like button. See you in the next one.